got the, we got the power. We got the, we got the power. How's it going guys? Welcome to the video. Uh, I felt like I needed to make a follow-up video to my previous video on this rifle, the Daniel Defense DD M4 V7. I made a video, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, and it was my first rifle purchase. I noticed a lot of people in the comments pointing out what they saw as a flaw in my rifle setup. And so they, they were very impressed by the rifle. They liked the rifle. They love this rifle a lot. But they pointed out that I have what they called a poverty tier optic on the rifle. So right here I have the Holosun HS510C. And I want to go over why I strongly disagree with those people who think this is a poverty tier optic and think down on it compared to other optics out there like the Aimpoints and the EOTEX. I want to make this video to show those people why I absolutely love this optic, why I think it is not a flaw, why I think it is one of the strongest points of this rifle setup and why I would highly recommend this optic to everyone else out there. So with that being said, let's get the video started. So the Holosun HS510C. What is it? Why is it such a good optic? And why am I absolutely loving having it on my rifle? So one little bit of information before we move forward. I do have the Holosun 507C on my Glock pistol. This here is their flagship optic for pistols and it has been an absolutely amazing optic. It's reliable, easy to use, easy to adjust the brightness on, easy to change the battery out without having to re-zero it and it performs. Not to mention it massively outperforms the entire competition as far as the battery life. Not only does it have a very strong battery life within it but it also has solar panels on top to give it an even more extended battery life making this thing last well over a year of use before you'd have to change the battery. So that being said, when I was in the market to find a optic for my rifle, I had hollows on in the back of my mind, absolutely for sure, because I knew they performed well. I had great experience with the one on my pistol and I was open to the idea of considering those as an option. When you look at the options out there, you've got aim points, you've got EOTEX, you've got the hollow suns, and then you've got the lower tier optics out there, the ones you can find for 100, 150 bucks at your local gun store. They're not very great. They're not probably gonna last you very long, but they get the job done at least to start you out with. Well. That's not what I wanted. If you can tell by the fact that I went with the Daniel Defense on my very first rifle, you know I wanted something quality, something that lasts, something that I know performs and will do the job for a long time coming. When it comes to the aim points, they're definitely great optics, but they're not really innovating or doing anything different than the lower tier options out there that I was talking about, except for the fact that they're reliable, they have that reputation of aim point, you know they're gonna last and work well, but they're not really doing anything special or different. Then you've got the EOTEX. The EOTEX have the same similar form factor to this. It's got that holographic style sight and the EOTEX are awesome, amazing optics for sure. But there's a couple caveats that come with the holographic sight. First off, they have terrible, terrible battery life. I want to say I heard like 600 hours, give or take. Uh, that's not good at all for a rifle where your primary goal is to defend your life with it and you may not be using it for certain periods of time and then when you absolutely need it you need to pick it up and have it be ready to go the problem with those is either a you're going to leave it on and forget to turn it off and it's going to be dead by the time you need it or you're going to turn it off and forget to turn it on when you actually need it that's a big problem even if none of those two things happen you're gonna to have to keep replacing the batteries relatively frequently to make sure that when you do need it it's there and works that's kind of an annoyance and a big problem, not to mention they're very, very expensive. In comes the Hollow Sun optics. They have a couple optics that are just like those lower tier red dots, the standard looking red dot that sits up a little higher, has that tubular red dot sight you look through. And then they found they have this. This is literally pretty much exactly what I have on my pistol right now, the 507C, just the big boy version. It's like the big daddy of the 507C. It's the same, similar form factor that hooded element you've got the same 
plus and minus brightness adjustments on the left side. You got the battery tray to remove the battery on the right side so you don't have to take the optic off. Also, just like the 507C, it has solar panels here on top. So it's getting that same ridiculously long battery life. And just like the 507C, it has that reticle option. So you can either have that dot with the circle around it, you can have just the circle, or you can have just the dot. On the pistol I run, just a dot, because with that smaller window to look through, it's a lot going on to have the dot with a circle around it. On this, it's a little bit larger. Having the dot with a circle around it is awesome. It's perfect. It makes getting your sight acquisition very quick and easy, but at the same time, if you need the accuracy, you have that small little center dot to line up and get your shot off. Not to mention another factor is that it comes in the green reticle, just like the 507C. I found with the pistol, with the 507C, I really like the green option as opposed to the red. I found that the green color, I just picked up so much quicker. I don't know if it's my eyes, my eyesight, whatever it may be. I pick up the green reticle and the green dot so much quicker than I do with the red dot. And with this, I have the exact same thing. I have it in green and I can choose what reticle I want to use. And having pretty much the exact same optic on both my pistol as well as my rifle is a huge plus in my mind because you're not confused when you look down the sight. Imagine if you had either irons on your pistol and a red dot on your rifle or you had a red dot on your pistol and you had a green reticle on your rifle. I don't know. Any sort of combination of those would be confusing to me and it would confuse me when I look down the site. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. In a, in a split second emergency, I wouldn't know what to look for. But when I run the exact same thing on the pistol and the rifle, I know when I pick this thing up exactly what I'm looking for. It's not a surprise. I know I'm looking for a green dot. And that makes life so, so easy. So that is why I decided to run the Holosun HS510C on my rifle setup. I do not see Holosun having any sort of widespread malfunctions or errors or problems with these optics. The 507C is practically bulletproof. The HS510C is also practically bulletproof. They're amazing optics. They're gonna last. They're gonna do super, super well. They have those reticle options, they have the color options, and they have the battery life. It is the whole package. And that's why I do not see this as a poverty tier option at all. I see it as a contender for the top spot. I'm not saying this is the absolute best. I'm not saying EOTech doesn't have a little bit of an edge on it, or Aimpoint might have a little bit of an edge on it. Whatever it may be, I'm not denying that there might be better options out there. I'm just saying this is a contender in the top three, five, whatever it may be for best rifle optics out there. And if you disagree with that, you're just ignoring the facts. This is an awesome, awesome optic. Highly recommend it. So with that, I'm tired of talking. Let's get to shooting this thing, putting a couple shots down range, show you how well it works, and then we'll wrap this video up and conclude it at the end. That one was a little off. All right, let's go left to right. We'll go, we'll go two and then two. <coughs> All right. I know some of the red dots out there, I've looked through them, they're kind of small. They're a little bit hard to get a sight picture if you're not used to something that's small. Whereas when I pull this up, I can immediately see my optic. I can immediately see my reticle every single time without fail. There's no, oh, trying to peek my head around, trying to get, trying to get that sight picture. It's always there every single time. So that is going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All in all, I have been absolutely loving this optic and I really genuinely do my proper research before I buy things, before I buy anything more than like a hundred bucks. So know that I did my thorough research. I know what I'm doing. I know deep down in my heart, this was the right optic for me. It's a great one. It's going to perform well for a long time down the road. Just like I did my research and purchased the right rifle. This rifle is going to last me forever. 
I know that for a fact. So to all of you Hollow Sun haters out there, y'all keep hating, I'ma keep shooting mine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. If you guys have any questions about the Hollow Sun HS510C, leave them down in the comments below. Would love to answer any questions or thoughts and opinions you guys have after using this optic as well. If you like this video, leave a like on it. If you wanna see more videos like this going forward, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you get notified every single time we upload a new video. We have been grinding and pushing out content after piece of content and we're trying to grow this channel. Hope you guys are along for the ride. See you guys in the next one. Have a great day.